Hey guys, welcome back again to another video where today we're back at the episode of the Blackheads in expert mode. So as you can see, I do, well, being an off camera, I decided that I can just take more job listings, especially those that request a steel, pick a steel pickaxe. So I did and got two stacks of coal and also got three diamonds, but for the, for the sole purpose of this video, I won't be counting them as me officially getting it. So I'm going to I'm going to travel more and try to find that diamond. But still I can buy some torches. I'm gonna pick some of the stuff that are from the job listings. So as you can see here, those are those. So and yeah I can keep those. I'm going to remove these. I'm gonna place this and I'm going to continue. So to continue the travel, I am going to make a spot. Wait, I think I'm doing it wrongly. I'm going to mine through these ores, unfortunately. So I'm going to dig those. I'm going to turn that and I'm going to do this and that should be all right. Maybe just place some sapphires. Who knows? Yeah, that's much better. Sapphires are better in lighting. So, I'm going to keep finding it. I'm gonna keep on going deeper. Okay, there's that. Another checkpoint, and I'm going down again. Hmm. Alright, what's over here? I'm near the level again. Yep, I'm near love again. Right, I'm gonna go here. Swim again. I might get damaged a lot though. But I'll see. Ah! <coughs> yeah. Oh, that was over there, so... There's nothing really over here. Going to get up. Wait, since they have ice torches, I might try to freeze some of these water. Might as well try that though. You know, um, for farming purposes. Perhaps, so... Perhaps I should do that when I'm going to go back home though. So for example, if I'm going to place two ice torches here... Will that freeze? No. No, they don't. I guess I might need more than just two ice torches then. Alright, so it doesn't work and there's a glitch over here that I don't understand why. But anyway, I'm gonna keep on checking. So that plan did not work at all. And I guess that's all the water. Interesting. Okay. What about over here? Whoa. No, I'm gonna drown. Are you... Are you serious? I'm gonna drown. No. Seriously, this is gonna make me drown. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, great. Alright, so I'm gonna go back through here. Oh, I see. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep on swimming through here and there. Uh, okay, there's, there's an air pocket. Okay. And... <gasps> A diamond! I knew it! A diamond! Let's go! There it is! A diamond! Finally! Let's go! I found it! Finally! This is the original diamond! This is, not, this is not from the trade portal! And now you see it guys! I finally found a diamond! Holy cow! I thought I wouldn't find it from here! Oh my goodness! Okay, so this is not from the trade portal anymore! Okay, finally I can... I can prove you guys that I... That I really got them! 
So now, what I'm going to do is to hunt for more sapphires. So that is the bonus quest for this episode. So, yeah. So with this, I'm going to upgrade this tool bench to level 6. Hmm, where does this lead me to? If it leads me to somewhere up there, then okay. Okay, this is another time crystal. Another time crystal. Two time crystals. Awesome. Alright, it go. Oh, come on. This is another water related. Alright, so they don't freeze, I guess. So that's unfortunate. Alright, so I'm going to keep on searching for them, for them sapphires. Would cave trolls spawn when they're in underwater? That would be weird, right? But I haven't encountered it yet, but who knows? Maybe that would be a... That would be a weird encounter. Okay, it goes down again. Oh, this is so annoying. I can tell that this is very annoying. And then... Another sapphire! Yes, let's go! All right. I think I need two left. So, all right. Another time. Ooh, ruby. Let's go. Five rubies. All right. I certainly swear if there's a cute troll here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump. <laughs> I can tell. Whoa. Ooh, platinum. Nice. Amazing platinum. It's getting bigger. Okay, an amethyst though. Amethyst is here. Alright. Uh, okay, I apologize for the background noise though. I'm in, di I'm in a different place. Alright, looks like I'm not going to find a cave troll then. Or is it? I might not find two more sapphires, but I don't know. It might be different. How's the scorpions over there? Holy cow. Look at the amount of these scorpions, dude. <laughs> it leads me to another amethyst. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to collect that. So Amethyst. Okay, there's more of these. Amethyst. Hmm, Amethyst Rush. As if trying to fall through here might be a safer idea. More of these time crystals. Seriously, the cube channel must be here. Or is it. Oh, wait! This is a loop, I guess. Okay, goes even more downwards. Oh, so it's gonna be another way from here to there. Oh, so I go back from where I was before. Alright. It's in a loop. Which is kinda annoying as well. You know what? I think I'm going to... I'm going to skip this part of the video and I'm gonna see you guys later if I'm going back to another trip or adventure in other parts of the cave. So I managed to return back to base and from there I continued from this area. So I went on so I went on until all my torches ran out. But unfortunately I only got like eight sapphires and this contains uh only 11, so I'm just one short. It is very unfortunate, but for now, I'm going to plan to upgrade my tailor's bench. And by doing that, I'm going to upgrade this, then I'm going to upgrade this one. So this includes getting more and more flax, so might as well do this thing. And also, I placed an extra trade portal in case of some, some trades and stuff. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm going to place the diamond just to show off, I'm going to place 
I'm going to deposit the ice torches as well. And to get the shelf, I need to upgrade the straight port to level 2. But unfortunately, I am going to prioritize the crafting of the sapphire pickaxe. So perhaps after upgrading the sapphire pickaxe, I am going to upgrade this straight portal too. So yeah, so that's the plan. I'm going to... I'm gonna try to upgrade the trade portal as much as much as possible. So there it is. I managed to upgrade my tailor's bench and crafted the soft bed. So I just recently slept on it. So now I'm going to... I'm going to... Oh, I forgot what to do. I am going to upgrade uh, the tool bench. Yeah, yeah, the tool bench. So to do that, I'm gonna need a diamond, five gold ingots, and five leather. Then afterwards, I'm going to craft a lot of gold spades. So, so far, I've expanded a little bit of this area just to get some of the marble dodos in preparation for the workbench upgrade. So now, as you can see, I have upgraded the tool bench to level 6. And so, instead of making a gold pickaxe, just look at that. The amount requires 10 gold ingots, and I can only make 7. Whereas the gold spade, I can do 16 of them. So, I guess that is pretty much for this video, and I'll try to continue making the donkey farm as soon as possible. But for now, I'm just gonna make the gold spades. So, that's all for this video, guys. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.